Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of X4 and today we're going to be checking out mining in general so we're going to talk about how we do mining ourselves, auto mining and things we do to assist in our mining which is the deploying of resource drones which I discussed earlier on in the guide so now we're going to do it properly so the good thing about Argon Prime is usually it's got a good location for resources and a good starting point so we're going to go ahead and do that and we're going to do the starting point now that doesn't necessarily mean that the resources we trade are going to be accepted in this sector and there's a couple of things i'll show you on how to pick up on that but first of all let's get our ship deploying some drones so we can actually see what it is that we're actually going to be trade uh, sorry mining we've got a mineral miner and we know by our legend here that we are in a mineral region with the red hexagons and we're going to go ahead and select our courier and we're going to right click and deploy a civilian resource probe so as you can see in the back let's just close it. there you go so he's taking off now he's doing his job now if you'd issued a command to, to dock whilst you were on board the ship the likelihood is is they would sit there and you would have to ask them to do the command we'll see more of that later on okay so now that our courier's on the way let's stack up a couple of things to do now, if you remember this is just something that's spotted up that we've been picked up it's more than likely something that's gone near the uh, the scanning range of our little it is a little satellite but it's not in range to detect what it is so we don't know what it is oh it's a lockbox there you go okay right so let's get ourselves set up so what we can do is as always we can right click and we can ask them to deploy another civilian probe and we can do the same again for here There we go and as you can see all, all i'm literally doing is right clicking and deploying you don't necessarily need to place so many resource probes so close but it gives us an advantage to see what's in the area and not have to worry too much we can go ahead and deploy them there we go so that's just to show you that you can set that up so we'll work in this lower region here and I'm just going to fast forward now just so that we can get these probes deployed. We're going to do nothing else and then I'm going to show you the information that we get and what we can do with said information. And welcome back everybody. And as you can see, we've now deployed our resource probes around. And resource probes are a really overlooked thing when it comes to the use of them because... Even I, even in most of the guides that I've done, I never really talk about them. And I don't use them a great deal, but they are actually really useful when you're talking about mining operations. And the reason being is it'll actually tell you the density of the area that you're mining. Um, so if you look at the last one we placed here, or 17 cube, um, kilometers cubed, uh, set, the set, basically it's telling you there that there's like that amount roughly in that area. Um, 15... 21, 26, 26, and 12. Now, as you can see, the level of ore and silicon are practically the same. They are actually the same for all of them. So there's the same amount in each area for ore and silicon. So in this mineral patch, ore and silicon are present, and there's an even distribution of the two. Not only that, but you can also see that towards this area here, there's a higher density of ore. These two here by the station have a higher density. They're almost double, just less than, probably a third or so more than what we've got here. So if you wanted to mine resources in this area here, you're more likely to find more resources quicker. However, bear in mind that area also may have more mining ships. So it's a fine balance between the two to find a quiet spot that has got high density. Another thing it's also telling us is that if we mine here, we're only going to get ore and silicon. Now, if you're piloting the ship yourself, you can mix ore and silicon. However, if you're mining as auto mining, you have to pick one or the other. Uh, certainly at the lower levels. At later stages, you can start doing things where it'll pick up on what it's required and it'll mine stuff like that. But from my personal experience, I haven't noticed it actually doing much in the way of um, mixing the actual ores. Now, the other thing it also does as well is, is if you scan, uh, so if you're in an area, it actually picks up on the asteroids that are around your area. You know, we discussed about that that close zoom in, the micro zoom. 
you can actually see the asteroids, but it doesn't give you much information on them. So, we've now taken over the ship, and you can see we've got a bunch of asteroids here. Now, if we start clicking around asteroid. on the asteroids, asteroid. it's going to keep telling you that annoying asteroid. asteroid. And you're not going to find too much, but as you can see there, we have a silicon yield. We clicked a ton of these asteroids to find just the one so I can bring it up here. So what differentiates this asteroid, asteroid. asteroid. to the empty ones? Because if we have a look at it from a distance, it looks exactly the same. Well, there is actually a way to scout out these minerals. If you press your shift and two, which is your scan mode, you can now see that that asteroid that I have selected asteroid. is now a blue color, like a bluey purple color. That tells me there is silicon in that asteroid. Just to show you that it's nothing that I've done. You can see there, more purples. It is actually a purpley color rather than a blue. There's also asteroid. one there, which has ore, which is like asteroid. a red color. You can also see our crystals are splitting in the skylight there. So we can collect these whilst we're mining. Uh, we are, there we go. Now they should be actually pretty easy to mine with the mining laser. You can still go around collecting your crystals that you were doing earlier. Remember, press your O key to suck them in. There we go. That's, that, that's all of it there. Right. So you can still do your crystal mining while you're going around. But as you can see, the scanner does not pick up any crystals. So you're still going to have to look out for that little sparkle to mine them. But let's head on over now to our silicon spot here. So we're just about ready to go. Now, the way things are picked up is actually by running over them, in theory. However, your ship is designed to pull things in using the O key, like we have in the previous instances. Now, before we mine anything at all... Oh, are we actually picking up? I think we're actually picking up potential asteroids here. It's not giving me any information on them, though, but I'm having a feeling it is. Yep, it's picked up the potential asteroids. So these are the ones that we've actually got. Because we're in scan mode... It highlights them on your map now there's a couple of things we can do we can actually manually select a ship to go about and collect all them or we can set a path so we know where we're going but we're not going to do either of them because there really isn't much point however before we go ahead and mine the next thing we need to discuss is whether or not the station or uh, sorry the, the sector you're in will accept any of them now as you can see straight away we have an ore refinery but we don't seem to see anything for silicon. So that ore refinery there, if we have a look at logical overview, you can see it doesn't actually show us what it'll take. We can resolve that by collecting ore in the area and then deploying it. And as we're going around, just leave your scan mode on. I believe now the ships actually do pick up on things anyway without the scan mode on. But it's just a little bit easier to have the scan mode on so you know for a fact it's definitely picking up on stuff. So we know there is a presence of ore refinery. The question we don't know is whether or not there is anything for silicon. Now, this is where I was saying to you it's very important to scout an area out. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get our other ship here that we've got, the Elite Vanguard, the spare one we have. And we're going to tell them to fly around the area. Now, I don't tend to use Explore. Um, starting off because I want to see what stations we have and I'd rather have it do it nice and quickly by flying we can just go ahead you just want to kind of set up this little pattern here this is what I tend to do to kind of clear the area so you can see what we're working with in our home sector Now, the last thing you want to do while that ship decides to pull its finger out and actually do stuff, go ahead and you're going to start. We have, yep, yeah, we got a pilot on there. So, there we go, he's on his way, perfect. Okay, so whilst he's doing that, you've got an option. You can sit here and wait for it to do it to find a better resource that you might want to sell. Or we know there's ore, so we can go ahead and we can start mining ore. So let's just go ahead and 
boost it over to this fourth mine here. Now, I'm going to avoid crystals just so that things are progressing a little bit quicker. But if I was doing this myself, I would actually go around collecting the crystals as well. Oh, it's something floating about there. Is that anything useful? Asteroid. No, it's an empty asteroid. asteroid. Okay, right. So let's go ahead and start mining. There we go. There we go. Now, if we use the O key, we can collect. There you go. It even tells you now that we've actually collected some cargo that it actually tells you it puts your cargo inside your ship. And just make sure it's not hovering around you. Oh, looks like we've got a piece that's broken off there. We head to our map. Information. So as you saw, we weren't actually collecting them little pieces of ore. It's because we're actually completely full now in our resource. Now, don't forget, this is a small ship with small storage. So we haven't really got much that we can do. Uh, there is crystals there if you wanted the crystals. Now, we can now go ahead and sell the ore that we've got. So we'll plot a course. But what I'm first going to do is I'm actually going to let the AI take us because obviously I can then fast forward it for us. Get up. Courier mineral. We'll select the courier and then head to and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell it to dock at. And then I can show you the trading for Hello yourselves rather than the AI. Okay, we are now back at our little dock, so we're gonna jump in and hit the seat so we can discuss the next point. So whether you were doing the manual docking or auto docking, it's exactly the same. There's no changes there. But the first thing we need to do is hit the trade button. Now, we get this little menu here. This is the one that we spotted here and there as I've been going through some stuff. Now, the station needs to know whether or not it actually requires stuff for you to sell it. So you can see here you got sell offer and you got buy offer. Nine times out of ten, you're going to get a sell offer for whatever you're selling if you've done your research like we've done. So this is this is an ore refinery, so it's going to buy your ore. So we can scroll this down here, like so, and you can just see the profit we're going to get. 14,000. Not a great amount of profit, but it's in high demand, so we get 10% anyway, so we get a little bit more money. But we can also choose to buy if we want to. We can see that it's making refined metals. But it's also telling you is everything else it requires. Even though we've got the question marks over it, we can still see what it needs. Every ore refinery that the AI builds generally follows the same pattern. It has a workforce, so it needs food rations and medical supplies. It has ore and energy cells to create the refined metals. So you can pretty you can pretty much guess what every station is going to require. So we're going to confirm that. It'll now wait for the trade to finish, so it's now going to unload the load that you've got in your cargo. And once it finishes, there you go. So now we can undock and we can continue on with our journey. Now the only thing it doesn't do is buy your wares. Because it doesn't have a word purchase, it doesn't have a trading section. So the crystals we have, you'd have to go to somewhere else like the um, equipment dock or the trading stations that we've got on there. So the, the, just bear that in mind, you're going you're gonna to collect all them. And because you've got some of them that are illegal, if you get scanned, then you could get pulled up by the police. So just bear that in mind. And obviously we saw the unstable crystals come out loads. So, you know, there is a chance that you still got them in your cargo hold. Bear that in mind. So that's manually doing it. How do we do it automatically? Well, there are a couple of ways we can do this. Now, if I just jump out of the chair, so that our trusty captain sits back into the chair. We can now select our courier. And we can now either go Hello and there. go mine or or silicon. Like so. And it will now go and mine it. But as you can see, it's... There we go. So in that area now, it will mine the ore and silicon. But it'll probably do that only once and then stop. So what you can do is if you go to property owned, go to your courier, find your courier, and then you go to information. You'll see here you've got your crew. You've also got information about your ship if you ever need it. You've got your crew. You've also got your loadouts, which we don't need to worry too much about. That's if you want to adjust certain things, but we've only got one mining laser, so we don't need to worry about that. But we've also got behavior. 
The behavior here is very, very, very useful to automate stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a bit of a behavior. So first thing we need to do is select what behavior, behavior we want it to do. Now, this is where your level of your captains are very, very important. We'll look at the combat navigation trading and all that lot at a later stage, but right now we want to look at mining. Advanced auto mine used to be two stars. It's now three stars. Uh, actually, I think it might have even been one star at some stage, but either way, it's very hard to get advanced auto mine. So the only thing you're going to be able to do is sector auto mine. This comes back to what we were talking about where we were saying we had to find a good suitable location to sell stuff. Bear in mind, we still got a ship out there looking for other stations for silicon. We know it's selling ore, so we've now got a couple of choices. We can tell it to mine the ore, or we can wait and see if we can sell the silicon. But silicon may not necessarily sell for as much money. And also, if you set a lot of ships mining ore, the price of ore will also drop, so you won't make as much money per trip. But if you've got, say, 10 ships going in and out, you may flood the market with ore and that station will stop collecting ore so you'll not be able to sell it your ships will only empty you know 10 or 20 cubic meters of whatever it is it's got on so it's going to go back out with an almost full um inventory cargo pod cargo bay and it's not going to do anything for you just bear down in mind that you can flood the market i generally put about four of each in a sector if i'm going to really go on to mining and that's the four smaller ones. If you're getting on a large ship, the large ships take a lot longer to get resources, but their payouts obviously are massive, but they tend to flood the market again. What I generally say is small and medium ships are perfect for using AI stations. When you come to do your own stations, consider switching over to the large ones for them. And if you've got a massive ore refinery that you want to build stuff with, then use your extra large. Just bear that in mind. So those are two options. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set it to sector auto mine. It's then going to ask me what were. Now, again, we know there is only ore and silicon here. So Navidium could be around, but it's not in the areas we're at. And there's no ice in the area we're at. We want it to select ore at the moment. And it automatically selects what anchor space it is from your selection. So when you've clicked in the ship, you've automatically selected Argon Prime. So it automatically sets it to the anchor space. If you were doing something in Argon Prime, like you built a ship and you knew that there was something in second contact, you can manually adjust that by clicking on there and you can see it automatically changes it there. Just bear that in mind. We don't want to change it. So we'll leave it like so. Go, it's selected. You just press escape and you're back out there. We can now confirm that. Now what that does is it does not override the order you've given it. What it's basically doing is it's saying, if there is nothing else for me to do, what do I do? If you want a ship to just sit in the docking port, don't set up a default behavior or set up a default behavior that says dock at station. Just bear that in mind. Because if you, if you set it up to default something and you're looking around for it because you've given it a task to do and you've forgotten you've given it a task to do and you're like, well, I've set it to auto mine in this sector. Where the hell is it? Let's bear that in mind. It doesn't wipe out what your current order is. You can see what order it's actually got by here. So if I told it to do something else, if I say, oh, I want you to now mine, let you here. I want you to now mine here, please. You see, it drops it into it. And it says the one that it's doing currently is executing and the next one is ready to do. You can prioritize which one it does by moving it. You'll see the little star there as well. You can tell it weapon systems, but we don't have, I mean, it's mining, so we don't need to worry about the weapon systems. And we don't need to change that because it's exactly the same task, just in a different area. If you wanted it to move areas, then bump it up. You can also remove it as well. So you can hear it, he's just mining a ship away. Uh, sorry, mining an ore away there, look at that. And it's gonna, I think it's just filled up already, very quick. Oh, he's not filled up. He's up. Oh, there we go. So he'll collect. There we go. The resources. And he should now head back. I believe he's still going on. He got on him. Let's have a look. Oh, so he only collected 90. So yeah, so he's not full yet. So he's going to continue going until he's full up. So that's it for manual mining and auto mining for small ships. 
We'll discuss medium and large ships because they're slightly different. The medium ships obviously generally have more powerful weaponry um, to break up the ma the materials, uh, sorry, the asteroids, and obviously more cargo. Uh, that's really the only change it's got. Um, large ships have drones that do it for you, so we'll discuss that at a later stage. But that's going to be us for this episode. I really don't want to go into too much uh, with regards to other things you can do with it, like going in a spacesuit and stuff like that. We'll cover all of that in another episode. But for now, that's us for mining. If you've got any questions, comments, or anything like that, make sure you check out the Discord in the description below, or you can leave us a comment, and we'll get to it in either one of the later videos, or I will respond to you directly. But until next time, everybody, take care for now. I shall see you on the next one. Bye-bye for now.